Martin, there's a youth congress protest going on currently at Jantar Mantar over Rahul Gandhi's disqualification from the Lok Sabha. My colleague Vedant is tracking all the latest developments for you. He joins us live at the moment. Vedant, what can you tell us about this youth congress protest at Jantar Mantar currently? I'm sure so the youth congress uh, wing of uh, the international congress had decided to do a parliament without, this is what they called it, uh, against the disqualification of uh, former uh, member of parliament and congress leader Rahul Gandhi. And uh, they said that this is the muting of the democracy and uh, they will conduct a march uh, from the road to the parliament. And uh, basically, uh, the congress had decided to ask the anti as far as this entire issue is concerned. Yesterday also we uh, saw that Satyagraha by the Indian National Congress and today also in various parts of the country the Congress uh, has organized uh, protest marches. Uh, in fact, uh, protest marches have been organized in various states other than Delhi as well in Chhattisgarh and other Congress ruled states including Rajasthan as well. Uh, now remember the Congress continues to say that the kind of uh, lightning speed quote-unquote that uh, the, the, the court showed in terms of convicting Rahul Gandhi is something that, uh, uh, you know, is questionable. And at the same time, uh, the Congress also continues to say that, uh, you know, this is all done uh, to, this is all being done to silence the voices of the opposition. And, uh, uh, of course, today in the national capital as well, uh, we saw that uh, senior Congress leaders, including uh, Congress President Malikarjun Kharge, led that protest march from the Gandhi statue in the par uh, parliament to uh, the Vijay Chowk, saying that, uh, they will continue to uh, uh, sort of uh, protest against the Bharatiya Janta Party for, uh, uh, for, for uh, you know, silencing the opposition. This is what they continue to say. However, the larger message that they are trying to give is that uh, Rahul Gandhi is fighting for the people of the country. This is what he has also said time and time again, um, you know, after his conviction uh, uh, came to light. He said that he is fighting for the people of the country and that this is all being done to uh, silence him. Now, today the Congress uh, in its various protests also continues to demand uh, the Joint Parliamentary Committee probe into the Adani Hindenburg Rao. That is also a central theme uh, of the protests by the Congress party. And in this particular protest that we are seeing, which is being held uh, at Jantar Mantar in the National Camp, uh, Capital, the youth wing of the International Congress is protesting. Uh, they are saying that they are using this particular exercise to also, uh, you know, mobilize the youth and mobilize the cadre of the Congress. So, of course, uh, this is going to have major political ramifications as well, given the fact that you know, it's an election year. Elections are due in Karnataka, uh, in after that in uh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan as well. So all these states, the Congress, of course, uh, is uh, eyeing uh, to come back. Uh, so uh, the the political uh, sort of uh, the political ramifications of it cannot be ignored as well. Uh, but uh, today, the Congress has organized protest marches across the country. They are saying that uh, you know this, uh, this is an extraordinary situation because uh, it's very rare that in a defamation case, uh, a person is convicted for two years, a maximum sentence, and uh, the fact that it was done uh, very quickly. Uh, so they're also questioning the sequence of events that uh, actually unfolded. Uh, so the BJP, meanwhile, continues to say that the Congress uh, leader, Rahul Gandhi, he has uh, disrespected the OBC community. In fact, today also, uh, when they were wearing the black clothes, uh, the BJP said that, uh, you know, they, they have been disrespecting backward communities and uh, the black clothes are, in a sense, symbolic of their own, uh, you know, ill deeds. This is what the BJP is trying to, uh, you know, uh, counter as far as the narrative is concerned. So it remains to be seen what the political fallout is going to be, but this is going to be a major talking point in the run-up to 2024 and in an election year. Vidan, thank you so much for joining us with that latest update.